In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to use Google Scholar. To access Google Scholar, go to scholar.google.com, or if you are already using a Google product, look for Scholar under the More menu. Use Google Scholar to find scholarly articles and books, verify citations, and explore more useful and related resources. Let's start with a basic search for information on elephant joints. Enter your terms in the search box, then click the search button. This will search the full text of articles and books in every field of study. You might notice that the results are a little different than in a standard Google search. You will see the article title, publication date, author, journal title, and links to freely available full text. If it's available, free full text will appear to the right of a search result, beginning with the letters HTML or PDF. Let's click on one and see how it works. As you can see, it connected us to the full text on the publisher website. Now let's try clicking on a title that does not show a free PDF or HTML option. Each journal publisher is different, so you'll want to look around for the words full text, which can appear as a link or as a PDF icon. Sometimes you'll get lucky and this will take you to the full article for free. Often you'll be asked to pay for the article at prices between $25 and $50. Do not do it. As a student, you should not have to pay for articles. Your course fees already provide you with extensive library resources, so try those first. Even if your school doesn't have access, you can usually borrow it from another school through a process called interlibrary loan. A newer feature allows your school library to link their resources to Google. This way, Google Scholar will be able to check if your school has access to articles that appear in the results list. To configure Google Scholar for your library resources, go to Scholar Preferences. In the Library Links box, type the name of your college or university. You may need to use an abbreviation. Choose the checkboxes that match. There may be more than one. If you already see some checked for your school, you are already set up. Another option to set in Preferences is to open search results in a new window. This keeps your search results in the current window and opens the articles you click on in new windows or tabs. When finished, be sure to choose Save Preferences. If your school cannot be found in library links, you still have some options. Return to a screen where you can clearly see the article information such as journal title, article title, author, and publication date. Use this information to search your library resources for the article, or ask a librarian if you need help doing this. If you were able to add your school, now you will see a link at the bottom of some search results that says, find it at, or get it at, with your school name or abbreviation. This means that your school has an online or print subscription to this journal title, but that does not guarantee access to the specific volume or issue your article belongs to. Follow the link to find out how to access the article through your school library. You may be asked to log in with your student username and password. Adding your school info to preferences may also give you more full text links to the right of articles. This is because some databases are set up to link to Google Scholar. You can tell that these are different because they will not begin with the letters HTML or PDF but instead with the database name, like EBSCO or Gale. This link will take you to the full text within the database through your school. Not all databases are linked in this way, so be sure to try the Find It links. You may be asked to log in with your student username and password. Like a regular Google search, the results in Scholar can be overwhelming. If your search results number in the several hundreds or thousands, Choose the Advanced Scholar Search option to the right of the search box. You can see that there are several options to narrow your search. Many are the same that you find in a regular Google search, including options like Limiting by Date. 
Unique in Google Scholar is the option to specify a specific author or journal title. Another neat feature within Scholar is to choose specific subject areas. This is handy when your search terms may be popular in multiple subjects, but you are only interested in one or two. Choose Search Scholar to continue. Notice the Cited By link. This is the number of times Google Scholar has found this article cited in other articles. This can give you some idea of how popular a source is, but you should know that this only includes articles that Google has indexed. This means that it is not an expert or foolproof way to rate the article. Another great use for this feature is to find new sources, especially if this article fits your topic very well. You now have 12 additional articles to consider. Another way to find similar articles is the Related Articles link. Click this and Google will display a list of articles that it has determined to be similar in content. Google determines this by keywords that occur in the articles, if they are published in the same journal, if they are written by the same author, and a number of other factors they keep secret. You may have noticed that in some results the article title is not a link and it shows the word citation in brackets. This means that Google found the article citation listed in a bibliography but was unable to find online access to the article itself. If you are interested in this article, use the provided information to find it at your library. Google Scholar is a great tool to use in addition to library databases. If you need more help using it, or need help tracking down an article, you can always ask a librarian at your school for help.